Hello Equestrians and Happy New Year! Welcome to a new year of vlogs and all that fun stuff. Today I have a bit of a busy day. I actually have a lesson tomorrow as well so I don't know if this is going to be a day in the life vlog or a week in the life or something along those lines. Um, you'll see by the title. Anyway, I've got the dentist and the physio coming for peps today and they're both arriving at fairly similar times so yeah. Anyway, let's get into the video. <laughs> So they're not looking too bad. I wouldn't say a whole list. Oh, she's good. she's oh, just good. short behind on that right oh, hand leg, she? but she always has had something. She's always had it. Um, it's just starting to. What's the reason? Do they know? No idea. I had a hox X-ray, um, and they couldn't find anything conclusive. No. That's the most annoying thing when they can't find it. Yeah. Well, she's got the physio as well, so. You're a nice little man, you are. <laughs> You've always liked pets, haven't you? She's just so sweet. Everyone falls for her. Oh, look at the top lip. <laughs> I might film inside of her mouth after. Oh, oh. <laughs> Show the vlog what the inside of a horse's mouth looks like. Hey, good girl. So I better get a load of treats for this. <laughs> oh, <give> me <laughs> oh. <laughs> it does look so funny. Oh. <laughs> Is that like a saline solution yeah, type thing? It's actually a proper dentistry antibacterial peppermint solution. Oh! Yes. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that should taste very nice. <laughs> Let's see that mouth. No, probably not. Let's have a look in there. Is it going to focus? Not really. No. Oh, kind oh, of. Oh, kind of. Oh, oh yeah, you can no see your teeth in there. Oh, yeah, all the way wow. down there. All the way to the <laughs> almost about there. Below the eye. Yeah, right to the back. Oh. And they mostly use those back teeth, don't they? Uh, uh, almost entirely. Yeah. The, the, the front teeth, relatively, I mean, they do pull the grass, but they can pull the grass with their hips as well. So. Yeah. If they've got no moulders, they're in trouble. If they've got no incisors, they can still manage to eat. As long as they've got moulders. Good girl. She's like, yes. She's, like She's a good girl. Good girly. Please. You want a treat? She says, yes, please. So, Peppa also has the physio today. I've just put her equilibrium. Move your fat head. God, this is so hard to film. I've got Hazel stood right under my feet. Pips is right in the way. But yeah, I've got her equilibrium massage pad on. It's just buzzing away. I'm gonna pop a dry rug over the top for a bit of warmth. Oh, look. You love Hazel, don't you? The physio actually said last time she came that um, the massage pad really did help just to kind of loosen her up. She said she could still feel where she was out if you know what i mean but normally the muscles would be a lot tighter and they were a lot more relaxed so it was kind of like easier for her to manipulate so now whenever she has a physio i'm going to try and put this on yes oh that's a loud airplane oh it's a it's a helicopter 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 <laughs> i've been watching too many tiktoks um so yes just get her back nice and supple ready for the physio next walk away walk back trot away trot back you ready come on watching here Can you see one's eyes not working as much as the other side? Yes. Which side's not working? Which side is my one? Just shove it back in the washroom. Thank you. Right, we ready? Ready? Gonna do trotting now? Oh, good girl, Pepper. Oh, that's completely twisted. Bye. 
bad quite good because you'll see on the video actually that right hind is coming across right in front of the left one. Okay. And that left hind is an awful lot higher and then she's not using that left hand side of the at all. And then that right hind is kind of hot point. So okay. <laughs> needed to be seen then. Definitely twisted. Isn't she? Why do you do it to yourself? Oh no. <laughs> Got a physio and a babysitter. <laughs> oh no. Really? You can see when you cut her off, there's no movement there. Yep, got me from that side. Nothing through this side. Nothing down. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, peppercorn, what have you done? No. What have you done? But actually, right if you're trapezius, lovely and soft. So Aww. there's no issue in that saddle at all. All with mummy being too fat for you. <laughs> What have you been doing in the field, Missy? Because you were only done before Christmas. Exactly, I just walked to the day then and it was. It was just before, so it's only been around a month and a half-ish. Yeah, exactly. Just goes to show, doesn't it, that, you know, people who leave it six months or a year or whatever between sessions, oh, like. Yeah, and you do, you find a lot of people that will have their tick boxes that they do. They, that is a, like a, an annual thing or a biannual thing and go right I put a tick in that box but then during the rest of the year not think well actually I've done more competitions this year or yeah I've done more schooling but even like with the fields being so slippery it's so easy for them just to slip and twist and exactly and you've got quite a lot of um, hills here isn't it yeah oh yeah so you can feel the tension through the left hand side from the as well Oh, you're not like, oh. Oh, is that an ouchie? Oh. <laughs> well, you did it. And this right hand side, the recovery, actually, we are spot on. So as soon as I ask her to contract, she releases instantly. Whereas that left hand side, so you can see from there, an awful lot slower. So that's not even Show the other side. side again. So that's that side, and then this side, down, up, instant. Hmm. Whereas that side, it's down. And it's taken a good five seconds for that to then relax. So it's almost like what she's done is she's completely twisting to the left, thrown this left hind up, which is what we see on the trot up. Mm -hmm. Be interested when we do check that pelvis in a minute to see what going on there and then through the right hand side the lumbar will pull through there so just got that tension I hope you guys can hear this because everyone on this aisle has had a treat ball given to them except <laughs> Beps so you can just hear them kicking oh, yeah, so she's doing very good though yeah they're all eating you know I'm not I'm a tractor dealing with that yeah it's very busy isn't it yeah, we wouldn't normally chat up there, would we? So it was a little bit more uneven as well. Yeah, yeah. but then I suppose that can show things a bit yeah. better as well. And this left high, is that kind of thing? Yeah, let me come out of look. Hang on. <coughs> let me put the sausage bar so across. The foot is nice and straight, and then if you look at the hook, yeah, if you look at the hook on that left hand side, you can just see we're rotating it out slightly compared to the right. Oh, yeah. So we're just sitting where it's actually the foot is straight and level. Yeah. So we are just throwing it over that left hand side a little bit and sitting on the outside of that foot rather than sitting completely level. But again, I think that's more the pelvis and play that. Yeah. Well, I suppose. Well, we'll see in a minute. Won't yeah. We? Let's have a feel. Oh, you can see it from up here as well. I can get the camera. But that was literally the pelvis on this side on the left hand side so the near side is about two inches if not three further forward than it is on the right hand side which actually when you look from above you can see the twisting so we've got it here and here 
Oh yeah. Of the pelvis. Bloody hell. Yeah. Which is why we've got that left flexion. So we come up through that left hand side, collapsing down to the left. Yeah. So the whole of that left hand side where she's not re like releasing is why, because we've completely contracted and she can't then flex to the right. Yeah. Oh pips. And we've locked through that left hand side of the sacroiliac joint. So we can't release it. So yeah. Hmm. So what is it you're doing here? So here I'm just literally mobilising the pelvis. So what some people do is they'll grab the hind leg and bring the leg up and around mm -hmm. to mobilise this pelvis back into place. However, what I'm doing is literally pushing through the left hand side, mobilising the left hand side back. Then I'll go to the right hand side and move that forward. Just because we know that she's tight through her lumbar and she's tight through her longissimus this side as well. Mm -hmm. So if I was to lift and pull it straight round, we risk putting more pressure through the muscle. Mm -hmm. Whereas if we actually mobilise it this way, we're not putting as much tension through that longissimus. Good girl. In actual fact, we, we built strength in this right hind since last time we saw her. Oh really? Yeah. That's good. Because that has always been the issue. Like, like she's always had that. Which is, most horses have a weaker right hind anyway, dominant left fore. And this is weaker than her left hind, but in general it's stronger than it has been. So. And we think that's from the saddle, don't we? Yeah. Like having... The saddle is literally being thrown over by the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very hard. I've got gel on my hands because it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that hop isn't rotating out anymore. Okay. Yeah, so that is now. Can I see from that straight. side? Or maybe. Yeah. Maybe if I go between her front legs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Such a good patient. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so behind, we're not turning out now. Let's just check that pelvis, make sure that that is level now. Okay. Got it all today. Mm -hmm. Off spot on. So literally there. Oh yeah. Whereas before we were. Yeah. Like that. All ready for you to throw it out again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The second that you get back on, she's like, oh, I can't work like that now, Marie. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> and you can see how much bigger that left shoulder is from back here, actually. I don't know if you want to... you can see how high it sits. <laughs> Are you singing? Old MacDonald. <laughs> <laughs> With a horse singing. <laughs> oh, we're dancing now. Yeah, so if you look here, it sits an awful lot higher up and further back. Yeah. That right hand side. And is that just a, com a confirmation That's thing? a confirmation thing. Right, Good girl. Then. That is most horses. Most horses have a bigger left shoulder. Okay. Which is why the mane sits on the right hand side because the bigger left shoulder sits higher up and further back. Yeah. So it encourages the mane growth on the opposite side. So where you've got a bigger left shoulder, ultimately if you have a saddle that isn't fitting correctly, the left shoulder where it sits further back hits the saddle first. So what tends to happen is it throws it over to the opposite right hind yeah. and blocks that right hind. Whereas now we're actually starting to work more evenly. Yeah. Aren't we darling? So overall it's better. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. Overall it's better. We were a little bit up. To be fair, that pelvis is quite easy to put back in. Yeah. What we'll do is I'm going to do the high leg stretches and then we'll do the sternum lifts, get yeah. some stretch through here and then we'll check that muscle recovery again. Yeah. Because what the, the problem we have is with muscle memory, is if we're tight through the near side, we can mobilise the pelvis back and put it back like we have done. But essentially when you get back on, that muscle's going to try and pull it back over. So mm -hmm. we need to make sure that we keep that nice and soft. Good girl. And I can do that by doing the exercises Ready. that you give me, yeah. Yeah, we say it's standard to do two weeks of the exercises. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> she actually pushed more into that than she ever has done. Oh, really? Yeah. She pushed 
more into that than she did into the left one today. Good girl. So maybe one day you will be able to use that right hand leg. <laughs> I think she will. I think we're getting there. We're on the road. Well, we're in the right direction. Yeah. I've got, I've got the wrong road. <laughs> right so, what were you just saying about the massage pad? So, normally trying to mobilise the pelvis mm -hmm. uh, will take an awful lot longer than it actually did. Mm -hmm. Because she's had the massage pad on and we've got some softening and heat through there anyway and got the blood flow. Is a lot more, the only way to describe it is more playable, so you're able to mobilise it a lot easier than you could do on a cold horse that's not got the blood flow because then it's like dealing with hard plasticine and soft plasticine. Yeah. If you're trying to get something out of hard plasticine, it's an awful lot harder than trying to get an object to a minute that's a lot softer. Yeah. So I can tell my husband it was worth the investment. <laughs> Same with the saddle. Yeah, oh god, yeah. Backwards into there. Peps is really refusing to bend. She don't want to bend to the left. Hazel. 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 Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> she feels defeated. <laughs> oh, defeated, yeah. Okay, so Jonathan, the dentist, and Helen, the physio, have both been. Um, I really should have mucked out before they came um, because Pepper's bed's a little bit trash now. And I am very low on bedding at the moment. In fact, I don't have any more bedding to put down. Um, I'm waiting on my lovely bed down delivery. Um, so I'm trying to make it last, and yeah, she's kind of wrecked it anyway. Her teeth were good. Jonathan seemed happy with her teeth. It's been a year since she was last done. And uh, yeah, no sedation for us. I do prefer doing it this way. And I remember putting a video on my Instagram of Jonathan a few years back, and the hit the fan because people weren't impressed that I didn't sedate. But um, yeah, that's just my personal preference. I think it's nicer for the horse to just have it done. I know it's a little bit stressful and I know not all horses can have it done that way. Some horses will have to be sedated um, but I just think it's nicer then because then they can eat straight after, they can go out in the field or whatever. You're not wanting to focus on me today. Um, yeah it's just nice isn't it to for them to be able to carry on as normal afterwards so it's like a little bit of stress um, for an hour or so and then they go out in the field. Um, and then yeah as you will have seen from the footage Pebs was really out through her pelvis and we think this actually happened at the bed down weekender um, if you'll have seen that video <laughs> but if not do go and check it out because it was a good one I had a lesson with Simon Grieve event in but we did unfortunately part ways <laughs> so I did come off and like she went one way and I went the other so I feel like that might have been where that happened um, and we also think that peps may have ulcers we did think that the last time she came um and just some of pepper's behaviors like the not stepping through thoroughly from behind with the right hind being a bit aggressive to other horses out in the field little things like that and i've just noticed yeah so i think uh, i may have to have a sculpt sculpt <laughs> scalped no um i may have to have her scoped for ulcers as well probably will um she's insured so yeah i think that's the likelihood at the moment um helen did actually recommend something called bentonite clay which like you feed it and it forms like a protective layer in the stomach so that the ulcers can kind of heal and it's meant to be fed for three weeks but i stupidly fed for about a week and a half and then I left the clay at the bed down weekender so unfortunately she didn't have the full course and she actually was done by Helen just before Christmas and had a similar thing like her hip was out um her pelvis was out sorry so yeah I think she might have ulcers but we don't think it's like well Helen doesn't think it's high grade ulcers but you never know so I think that's going to be the next thing. She's fairly happy in herself otherwise, she's still eating and everything. Um, but yeah, just another thing. She's asthmatic, she's had her x-rays, but now she wants to have, you know, she wants me to fork out more money for scoping. So, so yeah, that's currently where we stand with that. 
but otherwise all good um the massage pad was really helpful in like getting the blood flow and everything to loosen peps up a little bit which made the manipulation side of things with the physio really a lot easier um i'm not speaking very well today i haven't eaten anything and i think that's why i'm just a bit like Ooh. um but yeah i'm gonna get on with my jobs now and i will probably see you guys tomorrow for the lesson maybe <sighs> yeah i just feel a little a little bit deflated i suppose it's just feels like it's one thing after the other but something hasn't been right with her for a while and there's so much i need to catch you guys up on because i've been really bad at vlogging um last year just always on a time limit at the yard and things um and i did mean to post a video about the whole journey that i've been on to try and find out what's wrong with her um there have been some videos that have gone up like the saddle fit in and getting a new saddle i also got her a new bridle i had a bit fitter out and got her a new bit she's had the physio she's obviously had the dentist now so i've literally gone through everything she had x-rays on her hocks to see if she had hock arthritis and see if that's why she wasn't stepping through behind um but that came back kind of inconclusive but the vet obviously saw that something wasn't quite right um she did recommend doing nerve blocks so <laughs> i don't know um it's not like she's lame or anything but i just know that something's not right so that's where we currently stand and yeah just some more investigating to do i'm sorry that i haven't caught you guys up and kind of got you guys up to speed um there's just been a lot going on but yeah i will try and keep you guys informed now i am going to try and make the vlogs like more regular if i can um so yeah i'll try and keep you updated as to what goes on but that's where that's where we currently are anyway i will see you guys tomorrow for my lesson Good morning guys, um, Emily from Bed Down is here with my bed down delivery which is really exciting. Get to lay a nice big fresh bed for Peps today. However, I don't know where they're all gonna go. <laughs> Cause the tack room, I could cut it out of the video, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm uh, whispering it. But yeah, if we just um, take a gander inside here, where are they gonna go? <laughs> oh dear Lord. Well, we managed it somehow. <laughs> There's the bales all neatly stacked, but now we've got to try and put all this other stuff back in there. <laughs> okay, we've just mucked out. As you can see, there's still plenty of bedding in here, but we're gonna lay a nice big bed. We've got four bales to go down. I'm gonna put some banks back in. So let's get to it. Are you recording? I'm recording. Oh, it's not. I'll stand out the way then. I'm walking across. <laughs> you can carry it around if you. Like. <laughs> oh, just look at this glorious big bed that Peps has to come into. Just beautiful and it smells amazing. <laughs> this just goes to show how irresistible bed down bedding is. Peps, we have a lesson in 10 minutes. <laughs> You're gonna have to get up, sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, is that nice? Oh, oh, are you up, sweetheart? Sorry. Sorry. Oh. You get a nice rest tonight. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> oh. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry.
weather's not great look at this it's that really like fine rain that gets you really wet um but i've just come to the farm shop for a few bits um peps was really good in my lesson i actually let my instructor ride today because i'm just feeling really exhausted and i, I feel like there's no point in getting on if i'm not going to give 100 percent um and georgina got a really good tune out of her she was doing some like trot and canter and walk poles which peps loves pole work so it was nice to it was nice to see her enjoying it and uh she worked really really nicely so i'm really chuffed with that and uh yeah she's got a nice big bed now she's uh staying in again um because well i very nearly turned her out and then i looked up on the weather forecast and tomorrow's meant to be really good and friday's meant to be really good so i thought keep her in today while it's miserable and then turn her out tomorrow and friday to make up for the last two days of being in um but i can't think of anything else interesting that's going to happen today that i can film um i'm going to get hazel from nursery which i can't really film anyway and then maybe go and do some shopping and then start on with dinner <laughs> so it never ends never a dull moment but um yeah so that's day two i don't really have any other plans for the week now that i think about it but um i'll take you along for whatever happens anyway <laughs> yeah really chuffed with how peps went happy that we've got the new bed in she's got a spillers chaff now which she was very low well the, her bin, bin was empty after doing feeds uh, maybe i'll talk through what feeds um i've got her on actually well i've just bought some stuff right based on what me and helen discussed yesterday so maybe tomorrow i will talk you through that i also have a couple of bits to unbox to show you guys i've got a pr box and something that was sent to me for christmas that i thought you guys would just enjoy looking at um actually two things maybe so maybe tomorrow i'll do like a bit of an unboxing um talk you through the items that i've bought to put her on um and yeah that's all for that's all for now folks so i'll see you tomorrow if i don't see you again later today maybe i'll show you what um the tandoori chicken came out like i'm basically trying to get fit and well this year um i'm following a lot of pinch of nom recipes so that's one of them that's in the slow cooker um that i filmed this morning so maybe i'll show you how that turned out um and i'm gonna make some vegetable biryani to go with it so i'm looking forward to that i haven't actually eaten much today which is not good i've got like a a protein shake here um just because i rushed out this morning i just made like <laughs> three hash browns like the oven hash browns but i did them in the air fryer my air fryer is my new best friend i got it for christmas not this year just gone but the year before and I've only just found a spot for it in my kitchen and it's now the best thing ever um, aside from my slow cooker because I do love using that as well um, anyway yeah so maybe I'll show you how my dinner turned out um, but otherwise I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> morning hello honey <laughs> good morning I'm coming to inspect the lunch pen because if it's not too boggy I might lunge before I turn her out uh, that's not too bad actually doable if I stay over that end I think this looks a bit weird but my ears were cold so I kind of just shoved all my hair under my hat it doesn't look very good <laughs> I just look like a thumb with a hat but it's fine um, I decided against lunging um, partially because I'm just struggling to motivate myself um, to exercise her at the moment it's just a, oh, it's a shame because it's a nice day but she spent two days in as well so i just feel like just shove her out <laughs> let her get some energy out of her system and then i'll try and do something tomorrow hazel's at nursery tomorrow um luckily she's actually gone for a nap so i quickly like ran out of the flat while she was asleep um normally i bring peps and lily down together but i thought they might be a bit silly she's actually walked down quite nicely marching but being quite sensible i'm just scared i'm gonna get splattered with mud when she, when i let her go oh keen bean you excited oh i'm caught i was caught on something <laughs> right hang on i'll prop you here for uno momento go on then
pretty boring. Where are you gonna go? The field is so grim at the moment. Bye! Hi guys, it's Thursday. Sorry I didn't vlog very much yesterday. I, in typical Ray fashion, <laughs> didn't charge my camera battery. So, well, I had two with me and I thought, oh, one of them must be charged. So I used up the charge on one, put the other one in and it died straight away. So. I'm sorry, didn't get much filmed yesterday and I actually had a really busy day yesterday. I just got a load of stuff done, like I moved one of my boxes from outside my stable to give myself some more room outside. Um, Tacrapula tried to kind of tidy my tack room up a bit, didn't work. Moved a load of stuff around but it took me ages. Um, and then obviously all my jobs and stuff and I cleared the pallet, which I did get a little video of that. Um, I got my palette clear where my hay delivery goes so hopefully that's been i don't know i haven't been to the hay barn yet but um hopefully i've got a bale of hay there not much planned for today either once again i've just shoved peps out i'm just not feeling it at all at the moment i think it's just winter blues isn't it we've also got like i can't film it because i'm always driving <laughs> when i go past it um but literally right outside our yard there's road work so normally where you'd go for a hack oh, i've just seen a magpie <laughs> gotta salute the one um yeah normally where we'd cross the road to go out hacking there's a lot of road work there and all i really feel like doing is hacking and yeah i don't know i just try to keep things varied for both myself and for peps and i don't know i'm very easily defeated like if i have something in my head and uh, that i want to do and i can't do it um, I kind of just throw everything out the window, <laughs> which I know isn't the right mindset to have. I'm trying to change it, but I've just been so busy doing other stuff like housework and like the cooking, like trying to keep on top of cooking so that I don't order takeaways. God, it's hard work <laughs> planning it all. So I've been trying to get food in the slow cooker in the morning so that I'm ready, like it's ready and raring to go when I get home, which has been great. Um, there's also been a lot of washing up and tidying up after hazel so yeah it's just busy mum life busy horsey mum life um but i've got down and yesterday i put um i'll still talk to you about what i got from the tack shop i haven't forgotten but one of the things was a new busy horse licks and i was going to take a video of it today but it's kind of in the water bucket now this is the second clip that she's broken like, are these clips just really crap? Or is my horse just like, well, it doesn't even want to focus. Come on, camera, you can do better than this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can see how she's just completely snapped it. She did exactly the same to one of the other ones. And it happened to fall in the water bucket. Of course it did. It couldn't fall in the bed. I know that doesn't sound ideal, but at least I can wash the shavings off. It's probably just disintegrated in the water. So there's that. I'm going to sort that out first. <laughs> Um, once I've done that and mucked out, I will talk to you through some of the things I bought at the tag shop and I will do a little unboxing for you. I also have a really exciting box to unbox at home, but I don't know if I want to do a separate video for it. Um, but it's a Forlock and Fringe subscription box, which I'm so excited. I love watching subscription box unboxings on YouTube. Um, but I've never had one to unbox, so I'm really excited to, to see what's in there. I think I might do a separate video um, for it but I will unbox my Leavet PR parcel. So let's get, let's get going. I'm not, but you can tell I'm not motivated at all. Um, but yeah, at least Hazel's at nursery so I can kind of muck out and get things done in peace. Um, she normally goes on a Tuesday and Thursday. Um, but before Christmas, we had so many problems with it, like her and nursery um, because she just ended up so poorly. Um, obviously didn't have much of an immune system, which, it's not surprising when we live in a day and age where everyone wears a mask and my hand sanitizing and everything. So yeah, she doesn't have much of an immune system, bless her, but she's been all right this new year. Um, she's had three sessions so far. And knock, 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 knock on wood. <laughs> if anyone's seen uh, Encanto, you'll know what I'm referring to there. I, I can't get the songs out of my head. We don't talk about Bruno, no. <laughs> it's been in my head. I've been listening to that on the way up to the yard this morning. Anyway, yeah. 
gonna crack on with my job, stop rambling, and uh, yeah, I'll show you these products. I think uh, Nicola's tack room is excited to see me. <laughs> oh, why is there a carrot hanging out of your tack room, Nick? <laughs> I've had some questions about where Nick is, and um, well, we spent a lot of time together because she was on furlough. Um, oh, that's not very good lighting, sorry. <laughs> um, and now she's back at work and she works five days a week and then at the weekend well, we do see each other but not not like we used to you know because when you're in full-time work you don't have a lot of time for horses which sucks you gotta work to pay for the horses <laughs> and then you don't have the time for the horses sorry I'm just, oh, this tack room is a bloody mess at the moment there's just stuff piled everywhere whoa <laughs> The step outside my tack room's broken. I keep forgetting. Look, I keep standing on the bit that's broken. So obviously, I've told you guys about the possibility of peps having ulcers, and this isn't an ulcer treatment. But I just figured it wouldn't hurt to put her on it just until I've spoken to the vet about what I want to do. But it's called Global Herbs Restore, and it's basically, if I read out the front, it's an antioxidant blend of herbs, cleanses the liver and supports digestion quickly restores natural balance, improves feed utilization. So I've got all these wonderful supplements here, but if her body isn't utilizing those, then I'm kind of paying out for no reason. Um, and this is, well, it says a 50 day supply on the front, but that'll depend on whether you've got a horse or a pony. Um, so I've been given a, well, it says to feed gradually. So yesterday I've put 15 mil in each feed but I think I want to be doing about 20 mil twice a day. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd do like a little, it's basically a tonic for horses. So just do a little bit of a body cleanse uh, in the meantime. So I've taken her off all of her supplements, except for this one, her respirator boost, which this is from NAF by the way, NAF respirator boost. This stuff is fantastic. Um, I gave it to her when she had her asthma diagnosis and it does say, um, works in 48 hours or your money back guaranteed this worked in 24 hours for peps her breathing improved within 24 hours um and i i used it like a couple of times when she had an asthma flare up and then i was like do you know what i might as well just put her on the maintenance dose so that's what she's on now so i did pick up another bottle <laughs> of that um and then i picked up some Premier Performance Calming Cookies. I've spoken about these a lot on the channel, um, but they really have been a game changer for me and Peps. Um, they are competition safe and everything, um, and they do have energy cookies too, um, which you can combine the two, I found out, um, when I spoke to Camilla at one of the big horse shows. Can't remember which one it was now. I went to quite a few last year, but yeah, got some more calming cookies. The flipping mice got into mine, <laughs> the last lot, and turned it to mush, and then, I've got some Omega Equine Turmeric Extra, um, which has black pepper and linseed in, I believe. I actually had a message from someone. Ooh, whoops, sorry guys. <laughs> I actually had a message on Instagram from somebody saying like, what do you feed with the turmeric to make sure it goes into the bloodstream? And um, I said that the turmeric extra has the black pepper in it and that's meant to help get it into the bloodstream um because if you just feed turmeric straight it doesn't actually work it needs a like a carrier to get it into the system anyway i just thought that was an interesting like fact like i knew about it anyway and i said you know that's what's in there to help it get into the bloodstream but yeah um for anyone who doesn't know maybe you are feeding straight turmeric it's pointless doing it that way just chuck in some black pepper but i love the turmeric extra because it's got the linseed in it always getting compliments about pepper's skin and how like how a coat's always shining linseed is absolutely fabulous for that so yeah just a natural source of good fatty oils for for the coat and the skin and general health other than that i just got some spillers uh fiber light chaff which peps really likes um she is on like a low sugar diet she's fed with the light and lean balancer um from spillers as well uh just yeah because she's a good doer <laughs> so um i did think like surely <clears throat> with the ulcers i'm hoping that she's okay with the feed that i'm on but yeah, if I find out she's on ulcers, I will probably contact Spillers and see what they think. But yeah, for the time being, she is just on Restore and Respirator Boost. Um, 
just until she finishes this course of restore and then I'll put her back on some of the other supplements. I've got her on, well, the only other ones were the Free Step Supplement and Aviform uh, Progen, which is a really interesting one. Um, that basically helps to repair the collagen. I had a really good talk with Aviform at Your Horse Live, actually, about the Progen, because she was on the Supplies Gold, um, but with that right hind shortness, I just had a chat with them, and I, th I said about her having these x-rays and how there was narrowing of the collagen between the joints, but not so much that... Um, it like the vet could say yes she has arthritis or no she doesn't so I said like would the progen help with that and she said yes basically the supplies gold goes straight into the bloodstream whereas the progen ta uh, targets the collagen area directly it doesn't go through the bloodstream um, so that's why it would be better for her so I switched her on to that um, but yeah so <laughs> <laughs> people probably think I'm nuts just talking to myself in here um so yeah I've got uh, on those that's all of the supplements but yeah like I say pointless feeding them to her if her body is no longer absorbing them restore is just great to feed them like just every now and then just to refresh the system um I did used to do that actually quite regularly and then I just stopped doing it because I don't know um but yeah well worth the money it isn't the cheapest i mean this was 32 pounds 75 um but you only need to do it every three six months you know however many but just a couple of times a year helps so yeah that's everything i bought at the tech shop the other day was it yesterday i can't remember this week is going too fast right very quickly let's open this leovert pr parcel so i've got 15 minutes until i need to set off to get hazel this is the story of my life guys this is what i mean by i'm always like on a time limit this is a bit like having a subscription box actually so i suppose i do do unboxings every month feel very lucky to be on the uh, pr list for lee Yvette. so i absolutely love their products and i've discovered so many more of them through this um because i really only knew about like the the power phaser fly spray or at least that's what i like mostly used but i really like their hoof oil um that's been one of my favorite products that they've sent out and yeah like even their shampoos and stuff really really nice so what do we have this month so we have a disinfection spray that's cool oh the silver salve i'm so glad i'm gonna have that in my uh in my grooming box medical kit whatever silver salve is just like amazing stuff then there's propolis gel i'm not quite sure what that is but i'll read about that in a minute and then a zinc oxide spray which i think is like a silver spray i'm pretty sure um so the disinfectant spray um guaranteed to destroy harmful microorganisms which are capable of causing infection in humans and animals Comes as a clear solution, disinfects thoroughly and takes effect as, uh, as soon after contact. Indispensable aid when it comes to safe disinfection in the stable or elsewhere. Limited ver vericide? Don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> and then the zinc oxide spray alleviates upon contact and forms a film of, protect uh, of protection against ICAs. I'm butchering this. Uh, sweat, urine, water and other damaging influences. Nurtures heavily exposed and sensitive skin parts. Spray on application supports natural regeneration of the skin. So it's, it says for the dressing of wounds also supports natural regeneration of the skin. Then silver salve contains pure silver which let, uh, lets infection subside allowing the skin to calm and regenerate. High quality plant oils provide dry cracked skin with moisture making it smooth. Silver salve can be used in a combination with Leovet zinc oxide spray. And then the propolis gel which I've no idea what this, this is so I'm excited to read about it. It's a natural active ingredient from the beehive. Bees make propolis a natural substance which contains vitamins, resins, trace elements in order to protect the beehive from disease um, with its natural antibiotic. Propolis gel naturally helps with abscesses, eczema, insect bites, minor uh, skin injuries and tears, nourishes, soothes and keeps the skin supple. Also helpful for the girth in the saddle. Oh, so you could use it as a bit of a attack balm like a leather leather balm that's interesting oh yeah <laughs> i love when they send little extra bits 
So they've sent to um, lots of vet wrap, which again, knock, knock, knock on wood. I've actually never had to use on pets, but I'm always happy to have some vet wrap in my little first aid kit. So this is kind of first aid themed, isn't it really? So there's the zinc oxide spray, the disinfection spray. Are you focused? Can't tell, no you are. Then the silver salve. From what I understand from other people using this, a little goes a long way, so. And then yeah, the propolis gel. I'm interested. Ooh, it nearly just came out. Oh, it smells really, really nice. Mm. Oh, I've got some on my lip, but I don't think I'm meant to eat it. But yeah, they're just really handy things to have. Hazel has eczema, actually. I wonder if you can use it on people. I know one of the other one, one of the other ones said for humans and for horses. But yes, thank you very much, Leavet, for my lovely PR parcel. Very excited to try these products out. Well, I'm kind of hoping I don't have to try them out, but if I do, I know I've got some great items now in Peppa's first aid kit, so thank you very much. Lastly, I just thought I'd share the products that were in um, a surprise Christmas present from Exclusive, which, oh, Marta, you are so sweet, and like, we've made a really good friendship, like, through the internet, which is really nice. Um, and I just feel so lucky to kind of be a brand ambassador for exclusive. Um, I do have a discount code for the website, a affiliate link. So if you use the affiliate link, it'll give you a discount at the checkout. I do leave that down below in the description box if you were interested in any of these. But I've got the Pro Luster spray here. This stuff smells so nice. Whenever I spray it, um, my neighbor always says, oh, that smells really nice. Um, and yeah, it just makes them really nice and shiny and soft and it's nice. Then we have the Pro Mani. And this is um, manicure. So dry, slow growing and brittle hooves, creamy hoof balm, handy alternative for the Pro Pedi, the cream balm, like the oil, is idea for every kind of hoof. It is particularly recommended for dry, slow growing and brittle hooves. This will be great for Peps in the summer because her hooves definitely dry out in the summer. I think she did send me the Pro Pedi as well, actually. I've got Pro Ooze here as the next thing. So this is mud fever prevention and remedy that will not cause sleepless nights i like that innovative conditioning formula for horses ideal in places susceptible to skin cracks and mud fever infection contains nano silver mm. highly active antibi antibacterial agent which inhibits the growth of microorganisms and prevents infections its efficiency is significantly higher than other traditional products in this category Oh, so this actually contains, I think, the same silver as the salve, maybe? Well, silver, silver, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, like salve, that they use the like silver for the antibacterial... Uh, I can't speak today. What's the word I'm thinking of? Properties. <laughs> um, and then, oh, now I've got Pro Fro. Can you see that? This is for the frogs, I think, and the soul, so... Uh, healthy frogs, healthy horse. Perfect consistency ointment intended for use on the hoof, uh, on the hoof sole around the frog and grooves. Contains copper sulfate, strong antifungal and anti antibacterial substance, which protects frogs against rotting. Uh, can't pronounce that first one. Tricolosum and marigold extract enhance the ointment's antiseptic properties. Recommended especially, especially for neglected hooves, also as a preventative measure for horses standing on damp ground. Oh, I'm so happy to have all of these in my collection now. I honestly have so many bits and bobs like this because I just I hoard things and you never know when you're gonna need them <laughs> and then we've got some Pro Sense shampoo this is for horses with um, well it says for all your delicates it's good for horses with sensitive skin um, but I actually wash my exclusive brushes in this which they are desperately in need of a wash they're really dirty um, so I'll take the hint Marta I will wash my brushes um, so yeah the Pro Sense shampoo and the final two items, I've got one of the exclusive um, hoof picks. I think these are really cool. Um, 
I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. I don't know, but she sent me purple because she knows purple's my favorite color. She's so sweet. And then I've got a new mane and tail brush, which I actually really like the handle on this. I just feel like it's so much more like, I don't know, like I think it'll be better for your wrist. I feel like, like I don't know how to explain it because I'm not scientific like that, but I actually did break my wrist, like completely snapped my right arm um, back in 2017 and I do still have some issues with it. So I wonder if this might help a little bit. So thank you very much Marta for everything and to Leavet as well. I feel very spoiled and it feels like Christmas has come all over again. Um, just wait until I open the Forlock and Fringe um, subscription box, that really will feel like Christmas as well. Um, but those are the unboxings that I'm going to do today. Hope you've enjoyed seeing all these products and I will keep you informed. I will tell you how I get on with them. Thanks guys. Oh, just look at that sunset. Isn't that beautiful? No, ignore the cars and stuff, but wow, look at that. Yeah, someone yeah. <laughs> um, Peps is actually out on a hack. I don't know if you'll really be able to, oh you can kind of see me. Yeah, Peps has actually just gone out on a hack with my friend because <laughs> she asked if she could borrow her, um, which is nice for me because I don't get to hack her very much. So yeah, she's just out enjoying a little hack. Um, hopefully they'll be back soonish so it's not too dark. It's so funny, you've got this sunset here and then behind me is the moon. Nighttime, daytime. <laughs> Nighttime, daytime. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more, because I don't feel the need no more, no. Just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does good run don't say we didn't i was your first love and you were my first one Hi. <laughs> out on a hack it's a lovely day for it <laughs> and look who it is <laughs> nick's finally out with me <laughs> how long has it been way too long <laughs> Girls are matching in musk. <laughs> and Hugo, you can't really see because the sun's behind him, but he's got a jaw on. Because we couldn't put we couldn't put him in pink. Thank <laughs> you.